to uh, my 100 days of making comics. It's been about uh, 8 days. It's been about a week. Uh, I am, uh, according to my cheat sheet, I've been taking notes on day 40 through 48. So today is day 48. Um, go out, vote, whoever it is, don't vote. Exercise your right whichever way uh, you choose to. But anyway, uh, day 40 to 48 of 100 Days of Making Comics. We're almost halfway there. Um, and this week, um, I guess initially in the beginning of the week, I was a little slow in uh, wanting to do updates. And then the last couple of days, I really wanted to do updates. I, I think I made some some pretty big, uh, big strides, big breakthroughs for me. Anyway, um, first on my list, let's just get the business stuff out of the way. Um, I've talked about previous videos, I wanted to make uh, my drawing or my art or whatever I'm doing uh, creatively to be a, uh, basically to be a side business, a part-time job now, and then maybe a, uh, a full-time retirement type job uh, later on in life. I'm here for the long haul, uh, so I want to establish, I want to use my time wisely now and establish uh, and try to get a jump start on a part-time career, a part-time job, or a full-time job later in life. Um, creating artwork. Uh, my fire career will only last so long, um, barring injuries, and if there are injuries for some reason, then um, it's much, much shorter. And I still have the broken toe, and it will be probably for another couple of weeks before it gets checked out, but uh, that's old news. Um, moving forward, I got a, a Cricut Explore Air 2, which is kind of like the... Uh, I don't want to call it like a mom to mom home machine crafting machine, but it's basically a digital cutter. So what I can do now is uh, print out st stickers or anything else, vinyl um, for transfers, for t-shirts, vinyl for stickers for cars, um, vinyl to print on to be uh, full color stickers. Um, this is part of the business side of things, and I think uh, being able to go to conventions, whether it's a comic book convention or a fire convention or an EMS convention or uh, a craft show or flea market or whatever it is that I'll be able to have a, uh, a relatively low-cost product of my work for the one dollar two dollar five dollar range uh, people looking to just throw a couple bucks um, original artwork is expensive prints are ten or twenty dollars um, this is for uh, little Joey and little Sally wants uh, a sticker of whatever their character is or whatever female firefighter male firefighter whatever one dollar 50 cents, whatever it is. Anyway, uh, can do now uh, experimenting a lot the last few days um, in trying to figure out how to how to do it and then actually what it does is, I'll show this to you right up close here, is I can print the sticker and then I can cut out around it. It's not going to focus in because I'm too close. Uh, but it can cut out around it to be um, legit and then still give me a full sheet or uh, cut that sheet so pretty cool stuff I'm excited uh, the possibilities are endless anyway the other part of the thing that I got was a, uh, a new printer uh, the old printer we had was like a $30 printer on sale at Target um, we got a new one it's a it's an all-in-one scanner uh, printer copier thing um, but the quality of uh, the quality of prints higher and Epson actually has a variety of inks that I think I can utilize through that, um, whether it's uh, stronger for UV or weather or whatever it might be. Um, but anyway, it's a it's a better printer. Uh, it's the Epson, I don't even know, Epson XP640. It's still kind of low range, but it was super on sale on Amazon. Um, and uh, I can feed a whole lot more things through it than before. So uh, business piece number two, done. Number two, that's two done. Uh, excited about that. Print's really nice. Uh, I just need to shove a, a bunch of other stuff through it and figure out what the settings are and, and be happy with it. Uh, next up for us on Saturday is Rhode Island Comic Con down in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, it's about an hour, hour and a half drive from here. Um, I haven't been to Rhode Island Comic Con. The wife went last year. I, had, I didn't go. Um, she said I had to go, so we're going this year. I am going to be taking a lot of notes and hopefully a lot of pictures. Uh, again, this is going to be a business, so this is a me studying how others are doing this, um, what people are selling, I don't know, just the lay of the land. Uh, I think this last year has been sort of a, a reconnaissance um, 
year with Granite Con and halfway to Granite Con and going to Boston Comic Con and checking things out there. And I went to uh, MECAF, the main comic arts festival uh, in Portland, Maine. Um, so I think I got kind of a, a gauge of some of the shows that are around here. I've been to uh, Super Mega Con Fest or whatever that one's down like in uh, in Marble Mass or down that way. Uh, and then there's a Massive Con which is in Worcester Mass. Uh, all very similar shows I think from what I've heard. Um, so you know it's a matter of gearing up my stuff if I want to be in the comic conventions. Uh, as far as fire and EMS conventions that's a whole different story. Most of those are quite large or really really small. Um, and getting into the small ones is not very expensive, but I don't believe it actually pays off. I've done a couple of those, uh, and eh, a lot of people go there because you can take classes and um, uh, meet instructors and, and get a lot of learning. You're not necessarily there to buy stuff. So um, I might be out on that. Uh, there are quite a few large craft fairs, art shows in the area, so I may or may not tap into that. Um, the wife has one coming up in a few weeks, so she's going to kind of test the waters there uh, and play with that a little bit. So maybe. Uh, I don't know what the market is for comic book stuff or uh, firefighter drones. I mean, uh, $20 for a sketch card might be not... A sketch card of Aquaman uh, might not be what that crowd is, uh, is really looking for. Um, but anyway, moving on. Uh, last thing for business side of stuff is live streaming. I've been live streaming on Twitch. Um, mixed reviews. I've kind of worked out a few of the bugs in, in the system and the arrangement and the setup. Uh, it's an ugly setup, but I guess it gets the job done. Basically, uh, like what you saw in the last couple of weeks, I've streamed and then moved those into uh, sort of speed draw scenarios for you to see. Uh, but uh, I've been doing that and the interaction has been uh, pretty good. It's been small, but it's been pretty good. Um, and, and promising and for what it's worth uh, it keeps me it will be keeping me on a on a keeping me honest on a schedule uh, I'll be putting up a schedule there later today uh, hopefully getting a chance to stream three four times a week and I don't know uh, seeing where that goes it's just another I guess social media avenue for um, showing off my stuff all right Quick drink and moving on. Now, comic stuff. Uh, here's the important stuff. Uh, lots of sketches. Uh, I'll flip through these real quick so you can see them. Uh, more figure poses. Uh, more trying to get hand gestures. Uh, some inks now. I'm just inking on top of them to try to get an idea of inking style. This is actually, it's not in any particular order. This is like a reverse order. This is one of the, the later ones I've done, or more recent ones I've done rather, um, where, where we're going with that. Uh, some more sketches and trying to mess with uh, characters designs um, uh, Characters with hats on not hats on um, EMT specific Situations and then trying to ink in this one um, Messing with perspective uh, And playing with sort of like this fisheye lens idea And then actually uh, like I promised in the last one that I would be doing actual comics so uh, these will be basically the foundation for uh, me to bring them in digitally uh, sketch them out with a little bit more detail and then come back and I believe what's gonna end up happening as I as I keep messing with this stuff is uh, I'll end up inking them uh, by hand so uh, digitally draw a sketch print ink by hand uh, analog scan it back in uh, with a new scanner and then go and clean up add colors uh, and format it for for the actual comic. The comic looks more and more to be um, either a square. It either wants to be a square or it wants to be kind of a slightly landscape, uh, like a comic book size landscape, uh, something like that. So let me show you some more sketches. And here's a, a rip on uh, the Calvin Hobbes thing. Uh, Calvin Hobbes in a uh, in a wagon going down the hill. I'm gonna do that with a stretcher. Uh, that was my first pass at it. Um, another comic, I won't hold it up too long, but basically there's a spider um, and a person on a, on a backboard. And then uh, here's another direction. Um, now the one that really got me going uh, the day before yesterday uh, really started turning things around for me, at least in my head, uh, and building the confidence was this one. 
this is all in my sketchbook, but basically, um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like if I can keep going down this path here that I'm on, um, with some some nice cartoony, strong bolds, uh, simple single panel. Um, this guy, I left the the words out intentionally, so it, it wasn't like a spoiler because I think I actually want to use uh, a pose similar to this. Uh, but basically, that white space will hold like the word bubble, and it's just going to be like a quick sentence, um, and then that's it. Uh, maybe a little uh, narration or uh, meme type thing on the bottom, but that's it. Call it quits, uh, and, and keep it nice and keep it simple. So. Uh, the inks are getting there. Um, I have basically one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. I have seven, seven, seven comics uh, roughed out, six of which are in some state of inking, uh, at least in the sketch form. So all of those are going into the computer tonight, uh, and then we'll print them, and then I think... Um, I think I'll just have a big long inking session uh, you know in a couple of days and, and finalize how that's gonna happen uh, and then go in and add some color and and run with it because I, I I'm feeling pretty good about where things are at uh, right now um, this morning the stream was actually pretty good and, and I worked through some of that stuff but but this one this one here um, has me excited for my next for the next however many however many comics I do um, so yeah big breakthroughs the other thing I wanted to talk about were the uh, I got a lot of questions on the stream so I'm gonna run but run through it, uh, right now the question I got was a lot about pens and, and I think I talked quickly about pens before but uh, let me grab them all so the the pens I've been trying to learn with uh, lately are, are really these these three here, uh, they're all brush pens. I got them all from Jet Pens, and they're all Pentels. Um, but if I if I take the caps off, you can really see what what the differences are. So let's put them in order here. All right. So in order, starting with this one, um, you can see that the tip is actually smaller because uh, there's a little bit of white there but tips smaller and and it's not actual uh, it's like a marker tip like a felt tip um, so there are no actual bristles uh, I've used it before it's actually a good line um, but not a lot of variation you can get really fine lines to about a, uh, a medium thickness this next one also like a felt or a marker tip to it but real pointy so real fine lines it's kind of like a medium firmness when you draw with it I should probably draw lines here. Why don't we do this? I'll draw some lines. But that one's like a medium, a medium thickness, um, which is nice. Um, but it's easier to control because you, you're not. There are no actual bristles, and you're not going to get a huge line. So uh, I'm drawing these out. All right, and number three. The last one's a uh, pencil. Uh, brush pen it's a it's a popular one that everybody's using uh, online you can get a super duper fine line but you can also get some nice thicker lines and then you can get like a really thick line with, uh, with some variation on the side so um, let's do it this way so first one second one and then the last uh, I've been trying to learn how to use the last two and the one in the middle seems to be right now doing me pretty good. Uh, in the past, I had been using this pen, which is a, a zebra pen. Um, again, from uh, from jet pens. But basically, that's the type of line that it gets on the bottom. It's fairly consistent, some variation, but the texture of it's really nice. It's kind of got a felt uh, a felt tip to it, uh, kind of firm, so not too too bad. Uh, the other one that I've used a lot in the past is this pilot pen. It's double-sided So there's a uh, a real thick like sort of marker end on this side and then this one which is This side here, which is very much like uh, one of the other pens there, but uh, I've used the small side on this one quite a bit 
and you can see in this piece here that yeah there's some variation it's very similar to the last one uh, and even this guy down here so very similar just uh, I like this one because it didn't run like when you ran Copix over it I could ink first and then my Copix this wouldn't start uh, running everywhere then the last one that I use is a, a Pigma brush pen this one I use very for very specific reasons um, the the tip itself has gotten kind of beat up and what it means is what it means is is that it it doesn't write very smooth anymore so right down here where my index finger is is the pigma pen and what I use it for almost exclusively now is for lines like that so those are really fine lines from the 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 tip of the brush pen where it's been broken up and it does a really good job of sort of going from blacks to fade to white and then back to the fade and then to the blacks so if there's like a reflection or or something like that I can get some uh, a really fun texture um, let's see if I can get closer a really fun texture um, from using that pen and I have a lot of control with it so anyway uh, those are the questions I got on the stream I use these uh, all the time and then if I really need to I have uh, micron pens for really detailed stuff and then these uh, Stedler um, incliners and then actually uh, I've been trying this guy out um, I don't really like this just so you know anyway that's it uh, there's your 17 minute video there's a here there's getting caught up for the last seven days uh, Boom, feeling really, really good about about this, uh, and I am I am off to the races. I'm gonna figure out the the actual size, the ratios of the the box for the comic, and then start slamming these things in there and uh, and inking. So uh, progress, we're making a lot of progress both on the business side and the comic side, uh, which are essentially one and the same. But uh, super excited. Um, sorry, I haven't updated more often. And made more videos but for four days there at the beginning I was I was doing my 30 minutes or barely 30 minutes in one of the days case uh, feeling kind of down on things uh, and then started to just go back on the other stuff ink uh, and, and made a couple of those sort of small breakthroughs and then a real big breakthrough uh, just the other day and uh, I've been waiting for I've been waiting for that moment for you know the last 40 days uh, but anyway uh, even 48 days uh, who knows anyway today's day 48 that means I've got 51 52 more days to go because today is day 48 so 52 more days to go uh, I'm excited I hope you're excited uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one